In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the third of four pillars that are gonna be crucial to doing um, in order for you to heal. Um, and this is something we don't really talk that much about as physical therapists, but it's sleep. Sleep hygiene is so important because that is the time that our bodies really get to rest and regenerate, not only to relax, but um, studies have shown that um, you know the, the more sleep that you that you get, the proper sleep that our bodies and our brains actually retain the information that we learn that day. Not only the information, but any sort of exercise or or healing that you do. So I want to give you a few tips and techniques to to do in order to improve your sleep hygiene. A lot of time, a lot of times people with pain are have a really difficult time sleeping because the pain keeps them up. So. Um, if you can find other ways to calm the nervous system down um, to be able to sleep better, it's gonna it's gonna help you heal a lot faster. So um, first, the first step is to turn off, um, you know, bright lights, um, TV, uh, computer, any sort of electronics an hour before you go to bed. This just gives the gives the brain time to calm down. Um, there's research that show that if you keep bright lights on overhead, uh, that it does affect our um, the melatonin um, in our brain and it does it can affect sleep. So at night, if you have lamps, put the lamps on, um, turn off a lot of bright overhead lights, um, avoiding water really close to bedtime so you don't have to get up and use the bathroom. Um, of course, water, you know, it's really important to drink a lot of water throughout the day, but just try to avoid drinking a lot of water right before you go to bed. Um, keep your bedroom dark and cool. Um, even something as, as small as like an outdoor, an outdoor light can affect um, the, um, the melatonin in our um, in our brains and our sleep patterns. So um, you know, if you can sleep with an eye, ma eye mask, um, those are really great. Um, keep your bedroom cool. Um, it's really important to um, to kind of have have a cooling effect um, at night when you sleep. You do sleep better the cooler that your body is. Um, and then park any ideas that you have. I don't know if you're like me, but at night, that's when my brain starts to go, oh, I forgot to do this, I forgot to do that. So um, keep a notepad, um, probably not your phone, because if you go to pick up your phone, that's gonna be bright light, and it's also, uh, you're gonna be tempted to check emails and messages and things like that. But just a little pad of paper or something just to write to write down like what's on your mind. So it's um, it doesn't stay on your mind, doesn't keep you awake. Um, try to avoid kids or animals in your bed. You know, kids are squirmy, animals are squirmy, they move around, they can affect your sleep. You know, put the dog bed on the floor, or put the mattress on the floor for the kid. Um, so if you can't fall asleep right away, what they recommend you doing is just going into bed and, and being quiet for a little while, even just closing your eyes, even if you're not tired. Um, eventually your body will really um, understand that that's the time that you wanna go to bed. Um, so set a, set a wake up time. So set, wake up at the same time every day. So sometimes what can disrupt our sleep is, you know, we might have to wake up at 6 a.m. during the week, but on the weekends we go out at night and, you know, or stay up later and then we end up waking up at eight, nine o'clock in the morning. So then your sleep cycle gets a little bit off. So try to make that, you know, going to bed at the same time um, within an hour um, and waking up at the same time within an hour. Um, there's also research that shows that getting 20 minutes of sunlight within 10 to 30 minutes of waking up also uh, it helps your circadian rhythm. So it helps the rhythms all throughout the day um, so that your body can be can be restful at night. Um, and then of course caffeine, we all know what that does to our bodies. So try to avoid taking that after um, after two o'clock. Um, and then the last thing is uh, naps. So uh, you know you want to avoid taking really long naps. That can definitely affect your sleep at night. Um, but they do recommend, like if you're if you're really tired, just closing your eyes even for 10 to 20 minutes. Um, research says don't do it much longer than 20 minutes because um, then you don't want to get into that full like REM sleep cycle. But um, if you can just close your eyes 10 or 20 minutes, um, I like to listen to Yoga Nidra, which is just a kind of a, a body scan. You can search that on YouTube. Um, it's a way for my body to get rest without actually falling asleep. So I'll do that at lunch just to take a little break. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's just some tips on um, sleep hygiene. Um, there's also a great podcast, um, the Huberman Lab. Um, I love listening to him. He's a scientist and he does, he goes and researches all the latest studies. Um, he has a really good episode on sleep hygiene that a lot of this is included, but he goes into much more detail on supplements and things like that. So if you want to listen to that to get a little extra info, um, that would be, that would be helpful.